Hello everyone and welcome to this Ukraine update. In today's video, we will be discussing what's going on on the front lines of Ukraine. So Russia has launched massive offensive operations around Andivka and other um, sections, including Novomikhaivka. They have launched massive offensives around there and in Kupiansk. So let's get into this first in Andivka. The Russian offensive took the Ukrainians by surprise and they managed to capture all that's in the pink, which isn't a lot of ground. However, for the way this war has been going is a good amount of ground for the Russians, especially at the beginning of their offensive. The Russians did manage to capture this landfill, which some people are all saying is a landfill that they did manage to capture. However, they were forced to set back. And this is according to Russian military bloggers pro-Russian sources, they were forced to step back. The uh, Ukrainian counterattack happened a day or two ago. However, they have not regained this according to Russian military blockers, pro-Russians. So this video you're seeing right now is from the Russian side of their attack, their glorious attack on Andivka. As you can see, the tanks are firing, the tanks are moving, and it seems to be, go be going very smoothly. But if you take a look at the Ukrainian video of it, same tanks, same tree lines, same area, it is a different story as you can see from right now vehicles getting destroyed tanks getting destroyed uh personnel uh russian uh sub soldiers getting killed being killed it is chaos on this video not like the video the russians sent us again these are all the same tanks same uh tree lines same area now the ukrainians reported that 57 Russian tanks and armor fighting vehicles were destroyed. I'm not going to say that is accurate because both Ukraine and Russia heavily uh, exaggerate the other's casualties. However, the Russians' losses were pretty high, most likely, but I do not think it was 57. It could have been half of that or even less, around 20 vehicles, 20, 30 vehicles, even 15. So that is what's going on in Andivka. Also, the Ukrainians struck and blew up a bridge that was a massive Russian uh, logistics uh, hub where they would send uh, troops, additional supplies, and according to the pro-Russian military bloggers, they had to abandon this landfill because of the lack of supplies. So, this obviously did have an effect on the Russians' movements, but the Russians still have managed to gain ground over here, and we'll see how the situation unfolds. This is very the russians are suffering a pretty heavy price for this however you cannot take the first initial phase of a offensive and say it's going to be like this we just have to wait i'm not going to say this is going to be a failed offensive i'm not going to say it's going to be a successful offensive now moving on to nova mivka the russians did manage to take these areas here again everything in the pink which is pretty big gains for how this war has been going on so far especially since this happened like they started this offensive like five to three days ago however today the russians have not attacked now over here the russians also have gained ground near pernutne over here and over here the russians have gained ground even though this was on the 3rd of october this ground being taken was the 15th of october so the russians all making advances across the front basically i would say we can officially say the russian counteroffensive has started near verbobe you can see that the russians managed to push the ukrainians back and this was today as well and there's fighting going on here i believe the ukrainian uh push to Tokmok is completely over at least for now and you Zelensky, the president did promise the west Tokmok by the end of this year however i do not believe that is even a thing that's even in the possibilities right now and it seems like the russian offensive has started since they are pushing in literally almost every single direction also on the 10th they pushed up here the only place the russians have not made any advancements like the ukrainians have barely made any advancements here is kirsten so there have not been many advancements over there now moving on to the kupians front we still have no video photo confirmation of anything that the russians said uh, the Ukrainians, the Russians said again today, the Ukrainians, pro-Russian uh, military bloggers, that the Ukrainians have withdrew from Andivka. Still, no video photo confirmation of that, and it's been a week since the first claim. So we can say that the Russian offensive has officially begun. It'll be interesting to see what happens, how much land the Russians take, and if they can beat out the Ukrainian counteroffensive, the Ukrainian summer counteroffensive, which was an utter failure on the for the ukrainians so 
that's basically it for today's video make sure you guys like this video subscribe join the fact homie comment your thoughts down below again youtube i do not condone violence or killing of any kind i'm simply reporting on what's going on thank you